Welcome back to the official Echo Wizard channel. I am the Mac Mage, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Echo add on installer. Now, a lot has changed since the inception of the add on installer. Many more add ons have been added, and there is a lot more to choose from. So, when you open up the add on installer, you're now greeted with this list of genre groupings as far as the add ons are concerned. And many of these are self explanatory such as all add-ons, video add-ons, program, music, picture, and adult add-ons. All of these are self-explanatory. But then you have this, and these are add-on packs. Now, what is an add-on pack, you might wonder? An add-on pack is basically a bundle of add-ons or a pack of add-ons pertaining to a specific genre that are all going to be installed at the same time on your Kodi. So, for example, if you get the Echo TV Guide add-on pack, then what this will install is every add-on that works with the TV Guide that is in the add-on installer. Now there are some add-ons such as C-Cloud that are not in the guide right now or that they're not in this pack right now. And that's just because we don't have permission from the developers to have them in the installer so they're not in the pack right now. That could change because there are more add-ons added every single day. So. Okay, so now in the IPTV add-on section, these are all free IPTV services that you do not have to pay for in this pack. So you'll get like Stallion IPTV, Freedom IPTV, all the IPTV services that are free. And here you're going to find um, movies and TV show add-ons such as Specto, of course, and then you have your music add-ons. This is like expat radio and all those kinds of music add-ons. Um, and then in your sports section, you're going to have a bunch of sports add-ons like uh, the Celtic FC and follow follow, things like that. Um, so yeah, they're more than just the add-ons that you see as the cover. These are basically just to let you know what you're going to be getting inside of these genres. So Basically, as I stated in the last video, which is going to be in the cards for you right now, is that you can set up your Kodi essentially in about 10 minutes. This is probably the easiest way you're going to have to set up Kodi that I have ever seen in all my years of using Kodi. So next, you have add-on dependencies. So this should work if you should have any issues with add-ons needing dependencies. Um, if they say dependencies not met, you should be able to come here and check that out. Um, go ahead and see what is needed for you in here. Now, this is a very controversial section and a lot of people are taking issue with it. So let me go over some possible misconceptions. This is the paid IPTV add-on section, which also hosts price, pricing lists. Okay, a lot of people have issue with this because it is paid IPTV. First of all, as far as I'm concerned, I'm neither here or there on the issue. So, um, as somebody who's pretty impartial to this, let me just explain. This is a section that other than... For the fact that you've clicked on the section, you will not see it. This will not appear in the video add-on section. This will not appear in the all add-on section. This is an island unto itself, and you will not be bothered with it. In trying to be fair to the entire Kodi community, we've developed this section for those of you who do want to purchase IPTV. That way you can make a fair comparison of each of the services that we provide in the add-on installer and find out who has the most value for your dollar. That is it. We are not trying to push commercial IPTV, nor do we spam anyone or anything like that. So hopefully you guys can understand that. So if you're somebody who does not like IPTV or doesn't like the concept of it being part of Kodi, this is it, this is not going to be in your way. It's simply just the IPTV add-ons and the pricing list for the add-ons. Okay, so now that we're done with that, um, here is how to contact Echo. This is how to get an add-on added. And this will tell you all the steps that you need to take 
in order to get your favorite add-on added. Now parental controls. Parental controls are going to be here because there is an adult section here and being responsible we have the parental controls here so that you can set them up so that way no unwanted views of adult channels occur. Now let's go ahead and take a look at all of the video add-ons and we'll see the new add-ons that have been added. Alright so a lot of these add-ons you can see are from when we talked about Echo add-on installer last time but here are some new ones such as Freedom IPTV and then you have Free Channels TV, IPTV Go, Maverick TV, News 12 has just recently been added. You have Project Cypher, which got added, I believe, last week. Sanctuary TV, Stallion IPTV, Suicide IPTV. And this is not the version of Suicide TV that was down, because originally there was a version of Suicide TV and it did go down, but this is the uh, version 2.0, I believe. You also have White Devil, plus a couple of extra adult add-ons that have been recently added. So there are some very new add-ons to the installer. There's more choices and more being added so that you guys can have all the greatest add-ons on Kodi today. Now the other thing that is unique about this add-on installer is that it does also download the repositories for you guys. Oh, and by the way, this is new too. <laughs> I just noticed that right now. Um, so all of the add-ons that you could possibly want, all the latest add-ons that are maintained by their developers, all in one place, which is constantly being worked on by Echo. So for the most reliable place to download add-ons, you got it right here in the Echo add-on installer. So hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, please like and share this video with your friends. Also, if you know someone who's new to Kodi, definitely recommend the add-on installer to them as it would be a great beneficial help for them to setting up their Kodi easy. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and we will get back to you as soon as we can. And finally, make sure you are subscribed to the official Echo Wizard channel so that you stay up to date on all the latest news and Echo updates. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one.